Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the third Sunday of Advent. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, we rejoice and thank you for your presence with us. Help us to listen carefully to your word, that we may be changed by it. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next, we'll listen to Sarah read from the Gospel of Luke. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. The crowd asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none, and whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? He answered to them, stop collecting more than what is prescribed. The soldiers asked him, and what is it that we should do? He told them. Do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with the expectation and were all asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered to them saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs on his sandal, on his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn in an unquenchable fire, extorting them from other ways. He preached the good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Did you realize that we lit the rose-colored candle on the Advent wreath today? That's because our church is celebrating Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is Latin for rejoice. And our scriptures encourage a lot of rejoicing today. The rose color reminds us that our celebration of the birth of Jesus is very close. How do you feel when you feel joy? How do you spread that feeling to others? We spread joy to others by the way we act and speak. In today's gospel, John the Baptist preached the good news to the people about the coming of Christ. The people asked John the Baptist, what shall we do to prepare for the coming of the Lord? John wanted them to be aware of the needs of others. He told them to be good to their neighbors and to share with those who are in need and to act more justly and to be fair. The Gospel of Luke tells us of their willingness to change for the coming of the Lord. So we too can change our ways and spread the joy to others with our words and our actions. Our world needs the joy of the Lord. Let's remember that this upcoming week as we get closer to the coming of the Lord. Let's end in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, joy-filled giver of life, let the anticipation of your birth fill us with overflowing joy. May our excitement and anticipation be a sign to the world that you are always near. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you soon.